If you want to get pregnant, you need to know when you're ovulating because this is when you're most fertile. So in this video, I'll cover what is ovulation, when does it typically happen, and how long does it last, and then I'll share with you 10 signs that you're ovulating. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, the woman behind MamaNatural.com, the number one natural pregnancy and parenting brand. So first, what is ovulation? Well, every month your body goes through a rhythmic cycle that is seriously miraculous. On day one of your period, your estrogen progesterone levels are low, which stimulates the pituitary gland to produce FSH or follicle stimulating hormone. FSH stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles the fluid-filled sacs that contain your eggs. The follicle releases estrogen to thicken the uterine lining and preparation for a potential pregnancy. So it's creating this cozy environment for your baby. Now, estrogen levels peak around ovulation. Now, this triggers your pituitary gland to release LH, or luteinizing hormone. Now, LH tells your body to release usually just one, unless you have a predisposition to twins, and then you'd drop two eggs from your ovary and you have now just ovulated. Now, in most women, this ovulation phenomenon only happens once a month, which means fertility has a limited window. Ovulation lasts for about 24 hours, but the sperm has about a six-day window when fertilization can occur. Now, for a mama with a consistent 28-day cycle, ovulation would typically occur at day 14, making her fertile window from days 11 to approximately 16 or 17. Now, if your cycle is shorter or longer, you wanna subtract or add days to figure out your general window. And because sperm lives for several days, you can get pregnant several days before you ovulate. In fact, almost all of my pregnancies occurred on day 11 of my cycle. You also wanna watch for signs of ovulation because this is actually gonna help you probably the most. So here are the most common signs that you are ovulating. The first hallmark sign is increased cervical mucus. This is gonna be one of your biggest giveaways. Um, now your cervical mucus changes throughout your cycle. For example, right after your period, it will be dry and almost non-existent. And then slowly as you head towards ovulation, it's gonna become more copious. When you're most fertile, your cervical mucus will resemble raw egg white and be stretchy. Now this stage can last for a few days, up to five days, depending on various factors. You will also notice heightened senses. Our bodies become more attracted to male pheromones and our nose is seriously on a lookout, okay? This sounds so primal, but it's true. This is deeply embedded biological stuff. Some women also notice an increased sense of taste or even vision. You also will probably notice some libido changes. Since your body is basically telling your brain this is time to make baby, some women just notice they really have an increased sex drive. The high levels of estrogen and testosterone tell your body you're fertile and you might have a strong urge to hit the sheets. Ovulation pain. When the egg makes its descent toward anticipated fertilization, some women can feel this really dull, achy feeling in their pelvic floor or lower abdomen, and it actually can only last for just a few hours. Your body's temperature will change. Now, some women track their ovulation by setting a little thermometer by their bedside, and every morning they take their temperature. So right before you ovulate, your temperature will actually drop a bit, and then it's going to increase about a half to one degree higher than normal after ovulation. And this is the body's response to increased levels of progesterone, spotting or bleeding. As the body's estrogen drops slightly, the uterine lining decreases somewhat, which can trigger a little vaginal bleeding. Now this should not be confused with implantation bleeding, which we have a whole separate video on, and that occurs about five days after ovulation. Sensitive breasts. Now, of course, we usually think of this symptom right before you get your period as part of PMS, but for some women, it can even start as early as ovulation. Bloating can be another common symptom, and this is because the rise of estrogen during ovulation can cause water retention in the body. As a result, some women's abdominal bloating definitely increases. They might even have swelling in their fingers and feet as a sign of ovulation. Some mamas struggle with nausea and headaches. Now, these are due to the sharp and rapid changes in your sex hormones. Now, generally speaking, for women with really good hormonal balance, you will not feel nauseous and you won't get headaches. But for those women that might be a little bit off balance, these can be likely symptoms. Cervix position changes. Now, most women don't even know where the heck their cervix is, let alone if it's high or low or hard or soft. But generally speaking, when you're ovulating, your cervix will be higher, softer, and more open. 
This again is to prepare for implantation. So there you have it. All you need to know about ovulation. We actually have an ovulation calculator that you can check out. I'll have a link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want more healthy living tips and tricks sent straight to your email box, be sure to head on over to mamanatural.com and subscribe to my weekly newsletter called Three Things for Thursday. Each week, I share the latest and greatest health hacks to help you and your family thrive. See you next time.